Muslim read from the Quran, right? What does Quran mean? What does the Quran mean? It means to recite. What are they reciting? The Holy Scriptures, the original, the Bible. That's what Quran means, to recite the Bible. That's why some of them see, some, that's why the Quran and the Bible seem similar, but it's a recitation of the Holy Original Scriptures, the King James Bible. You got a question, bro? Yes. Go ahead. These don't never had an address. What commandments did we break to deserve 400 years of slavery? Good question. Very good question. Very good question. Proverbs uh, 331. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. God says, envy thou not the oppressor. Who is our oppressors? That's the other nations, the nation that oppressed us. White man, Chinese, Arabs, they all oppress us. God say, envy thou not the oppressor. And choose none of his ways. Choose what? None of his ways. Choose none of their ways. Going to what? None of their religions. Their ways of life. God said, don't choose it. So, that's idolatry. What? Go ahead, bro. I feel like we are on suppression. We are, yeah, we're still on we oppression. You say, say that one more time. We are all suppressed right now. We all oppressed. We all we oppressed. Are. Yeah, yeah we, we, are. Still we are still oppressed. We're are. still in slavery right now. Know, we we're are. still in bondage. Yeah. We are. But now we're showing you how to get back right, how to get out of bondage. Right. What you gotta do for Christ to return and get us out this hell that we're living in right now? Go ahead. Read that one more time. The Book of Proverbs, chapter three and verse thirty-one. If be thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Right, so we chose the ways of our oppressor. That's what uh, God calls idolatry. For example, a lot of our people is caught up in, in Muslim. Worshiping Muslims. Well, that religion, of, uh, what you call it, Islam, whatever. That's not for our people. Uh, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 2. Lift up thy eyes unto the high places and see where thou hast not been laid with, and the ways has thou set for them as the Arabian. As the Arabian. Say, read that real time, real slow, read it slow. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places. So lift up your eyes unto the high places, go ahead. And see where thou has not been lain with. Has been lain with, talking about being defiled with, go ahead. And the ways has thou set for them as the Arabian in the wilderness. So we got defiled with the ways of the Arabians, Islam. That's a false uh, false religion. That's not according to the Holy Scriptures. Uh, Deuteronomy 28, 64. Following Islam is actually a curse in the Bible. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 64. Bring it up. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. Right, so we're reading the curse. It said the Lord shall scatter you amongst all people from one end of the earth even unto another, right? Go ahead. And there thou shalt serve other gods. So through our captivities, we, we serve other gods. Like here in the land of America, what are the two main religions our people are caught up into? Christian. And what else? And Islam, right? So he said, there you shall serve other gods. Go ahead. Which Neither thou nor thy fathers have known uh -huh. even wood and stone. So he gave you two symbols, wood and stone. There they shall serve other gods, wood and stone. What represents Christianity, modern Christianity? What symbol? The, cross. the wood cross, right? So he's giving you uh, the clues. Wood, that cross, and stone. What is that going into? In Islam, they gotta go to. They gotta do a pilgrimage. They gotta uh, go to Mecca and do what? Circle that, that that stone. What's it called? The Kaaba stone. That's the two main religions. Okay, that's the two main religions our people caught up into. And, and uh, read that one time. The bottom part. And there thou shalt serve 
other gods, uh -huh. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood. Even wood, which is modern Christianity. Our fathers never knew nothing about a white Jesus. That's not in the Bible. And white Jesus represents modern Christianity. Go ahead. And stone. Stone is Islam. Muslims. That's not our true identity. That God said that you're serving another God when you partake in that. Right. Right. So, uh, my brother, you had any other any questions? Do you know the definition of Muslim? The definition of Muslim. What's the definition of Muslim? You know, a Muslim is somebody who, who surrenders herself to the righteousness of the Creator. That's all that is. That's all right. All so, what do you are you are you Muslim or former Muslim or? I'm just married, son. Say again? I'm just Mary so. Mary so? Okay. All right. Uh, Muslims, where do Muslims read from? Well, they read the Bible and Quran. You said the Bible and Quran. Okay. Y'all agree? And I, I thought, I ain't thought the, religion, the Muslim was not a religion. I thought it was just a way of life. Nah. It's, it's a religion. We're going to show it to you. But uh, Muslim read from the Quran, right? What does Quran mean? What does the Quran mean? It means to recite. What are they reciting? The Holy Scriptures, the original, the Bible. That's what Quran means, to recite the Bible. That's why some of them see, some, that's why the Quran and the Bible seem similar, but it's a recitation of the Holy Original Scriptures, the King James Bible. Um, matter of fact, the Quran or uh, Islam, Muslim, when did that religion come around? When? Anybody know? That was 600 years after Christ. 600 years after Christ. So that's not a true, that's a new religion on earth. Our forefathers didn't know about being a Muslim. That's a new religion on earth. Anybody got uh, uh, Babylon Timbuktu? Babylon Timbuktu. Let's get some history on the, on the Quran. And uh, the, forefather, the, the, uh, the founder of our uh, Muslim. Babylon Timbuktu. Hey, y'all, I'm in the actual talk. I gotta get out here. The book of Babylon to Timbuktu, page 48, titled Islam and Judaism. The Prophet Muhammad adopted many principles and laws from the Jewish religion. Read that one more time. The Prophet Muhammad adopted. Adopted meaning stole pretty much what it's going into. Go ahead. Many principles and laws from the Jewish religion. Right, so Muhammad, he got his ideas, his philosophy from our people, the real Jews, according to the scriptures. So Islam is not the way for our people. The original Bible is. Good. You had a question? You had a question about that? No? Okay, you just came to look? All right. Um, so you ever heard this? You ever seen this before? Say somewhat. Yeah, we're the Israelites. We're, yeah, we're not Islam. We're, uh, we're, we are the true people of the Bible. We are the Israelites. We're God's chosen people according to the Holy Scriptures. That's our true identity. Um, and in these modern churches in these last days, it definitely tells us a whole lot of lies. Such as what? That Christ is white. You know that's not in the Bible, right, sis? You already know what color Christ is? What does he look like according to the Bible? That's the exact word. We're going to read that to you out of the scriptures. Go ahead. Uh, Revelation chapter 1 and one, 1 and 1. The book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ, the revealing of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. All right, verse 10. The revelation of Jesus Christ, meaning the revealing of Jesus Christ. And we're going to show you like just what you said, his hair like wool, skin like no brass. That's in the Bible. Go ahead. Verse 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day uh -huh. and heard behind me a great voice as a, as a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega. I'm the Alpha and Omega. Let you know that's referring to Christ. The first and the last. Right. And what thou seest, write 
in a book. So John the Revelator said, what you see, write it down in a book. Because my people need to know this in the last days. Keep reading verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now, John the Revelator is describing what he's seeing. Remember Christ said, what you see, write it down. Say his hair on his head was what? White like wool. So the color was white, but wool, wool is a texture. What people got wool texture here? We do, we do right. right. Like this wool texture here, wool texture here. You got wool texture here. Go ahead. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning the whites of Christ's eyes were red because Christ drank wine, but in moderation. He wasn't no drunk, but he did drink some wine. Go ahead. <clears throat> and his feet like unto fine brass. Says, and his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Like a penny, right? Which is you no know, like brownish, copperish color, right? And that's that's our people. But let's see how dark the skin on Christ's feet was. Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace. As if what? They burned in a furnace. So you take anything you burn it, sis. What color does it come out? It says, it already says his feet was like brass, but it said, hey, like it got burnt in a furnace. You burn anything. If you burn, if you are cooking rice and you don't, you know, you turn it, you don't turn it down. It come out black, right? Right. right. So Christ, the skin on, on Christ's feet was black. Now, when you look at somebody's feet and you look at the rest of their body, the same color, right? So this is showing that what? Christ is a black man according to the Holy Scriptures. This is a more true description of Christ as opposed to this. This is totally opposite of what we just read, right, sis? Right. So in these last days, we got to come back to worship God in sincerity and in truth. We can't worship all this lie no more because this actually will lead you to destruction. That's idolatry. Uh, Revelation 14 and 9. Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. Because there is a judgment for our people who don't get it right and still worshiping this false image in the last days, sis. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 9. Bring it out. And the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image. This is the image that you're talking about. This is the image of the beast that the whole world worships falsely. Because we already read it, the true description looks like that. Go ahead. And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. So God said wrath is coming to you for worshiping the false image, the image of the beast. We got to come back in these last days to understand that we are the Israelites. God commands us to keep his commandments. Right. That's what we got to do. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Stop!